The Health Systems and Research Ethics Department aims to generate evidence to contribute to knowledge on topical health systems areas and to also inform policies that enhance efficiency, uh, quality, equitable access and the re resilience of health systems. Our research is intentionally embedded within the healthcare systems. We are working across the entire spectrum of health systems, right from local community level, uh, health facilities, primary healthcare levels, all the way to referral national hospitals, working within the CIN, the clinical information networks, but also with the counties that are not necessarily within the CIN. In our research, we intentionally co-create with the healthcare managers and with the healthcare policy makers the research questions that are relevant to address the challenges that, th that are being faced. We have research uh, where we are working across departments, including research working with clinical departments, with the biosciences, with epidemiology and demographic departments. We have therefore organized our thematic um, areas into five broad areas. Health financing and economics, health management, leadership and governance, quality of service and service delivery, community and patients' responsiveness to health challenges, including treatment-seeking behaviors, ethics and engagement. Across all these thematic areas, capacity building is a core element of our department. We provide strategic support to the engagement platform and to the ethics in the program beyond conducting medical research. So the Health Economics Research Unit is a group of scientists uh, within the Cambria Wellcome Trust Research Program who carry out health economics research that spans three thematic areas. One is the economics of health systems. The second theme is economic evaluation. And lastly, we also do a lot of work around health policy and systems research. Our focus is health financing research that aims to assess health financing reforms that are geared to accelerating progress towards universal health coverage. We also focus on work around assessing equity of health systems and the efficiency of health systems. Examples of work that uh, we've done under this theme include the effectiveness of health insurance as a health financing mechanism across the African region and in Kenya, and this has contributed to specific uh, reforms of the National Health Insurance Fund in Kenya. The second thematic area is on economic evaluation, where we carry out costing and cost-effectiveness analysis of healthcare interventions to inform the efficient allocation of resources within the health sector. This is a network that uh, seeks to build the evidence base to trans, uh, transform health systems into high quality systems by improving measurements and testing new solutions. Uh, there are three main objectives under Quest project. One, to provide the evidence for service delivery redesign and co-develop models on maternal and, uh, and newborn care. We have a second objective on people's voice survey, which is meant to understand the public's uh, perception on health systems, whether they have trust and confidence within uh, the health system. And a third objective, which aims at looking at e-cohorts, uh, uh, this is on care trajectory for pregnant mothers, and we follow them up to understand where there are critical points where we can intervene. A second project within HERUF that's focused on health systems is AHOPE, which is the African Health Observatory Platform on Health Policies and uh, Systems. It's a regional collaborative that exists uh, between national regional uh, collaborations uh, of five national centers in Africa and is hosted by WHO Regional Office. The point about AHOPE is to really support capacity building of policymakers uh, on evidence use so that they can make evidence informed decisions and policies. Uh, reducing neonatal mortality remains uh, a, an important uh, global priority an important research area for the program. Um, as part of a multidisciplinary team, my work involved conducting ethnographic work, looking at the realities of uh, life within newborn units and documenting the experiences of mothers and families of hospitalized sick newborns within uh, CIN hospitals uh, in Kenya. Um, key outputs of this work pointed to uh, key points of interventions, uh, which include um, the need for improvement of communication uh, within newborn units, uh, which would be beneficial for both the staff and the mothers. So our research across the CIN hospitals has shown that nurses working in newborn care units work under very stressful conditions, dealing with very high 
workloads, shortage of staff. We had two nurses are working with 60, 70 babies amid shortage of supplies. And all these situations can really build up on nurses and cause burnout, and it can influence their communication behaviors with patients and their ability to offer quality care. So what we have done is uh, we have uh, developed and implemented a communication skills and emotional competence training for nurse managers across the CIN hospitals. There's a growing uh, use of technology globally to improve human health. Most low and middle income countries are still lagging behind in, in catching up with those technologies. Our program of work actually it focuses on uh, understanding the social and ethical implications of one of those technologies. These are human infection studies, studies that actually aim to accelerate the de development of drugs and vaccines uh, with the goal of uh, making vaccines that meet the needs of the context where they are developed. So our program of work is basically social science research that uh, it focuses on understanding the social, ethical and regulatory implications of human infection studies in the context of low and middle income countries. Our work has fed directly into a number of uh, policies and practice at the level of our institution, local health authorities, uh, national authorities and even at the international level. When COVID-19 uh, struck, we were, we were able to leverage the relationships that we have built with policy makers, with healthcare systems, and also the questions that we've been asking to turn them around to start addressing areas of COVID-19 that are relevant to provide quick turnaround evidence for policy makers to make decisions on the response and the containment. Some of the questions that we've, uh, areas that we have provided evidence on is on hospital, for example, on hospital preparedness to add to to provide care for those who are seriously sick, looking at bed capacities. We have work that has been looking at, for example, nursing, nursing profession, their understanding and uh, their perceptions of COVID, including preparedness, issues that stress them, looking at their mental well-being and how they have been uh, dealing with that, including uh, the issue of how strikes and stresses in the healthcare systems had implications on provision of COVID-19 uh, care. These are areas that government needed um, evidence on to inform their policies. Some of our members are sitting in different committees that are providing support to government, including the Minister of Health Operations Center, that is a presidential task force. At the county levels, we have members who are sitting the rapid response teams and also working with the WHO office in the Kenya office uh, to be able to respond to the COVID-19 um, pandemic.